Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, and today, very excited. I'm excited because these were actually released, they were made probably some time ago, and DC Direct went out, McFarlane resurrected them a little bit, I get it, so we have uh, finally Deceased Wave 2, and Deceased Wave 2 features a very zombified, very gorified Supergirl, which, again, I'll go into the story just a little bit. A lot of these figures don't make sense within the context of the actual comic book and spinoffs and whatnot, but uh, you get the idea, right? It, essentially, we're just having fun, zombified versions of our favorite superheroes and villains. So, Harley Quinn, Superman, The Flash, uh, this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys XDC Direct, Deceased. Wave 2. And while I got all you zombies here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube videos. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So, here's all the figures out of the packaging. We'll start it off with Supergirl. Now, one thing to keep in mind, there's no accessories with any of these figures. And they really are just a fun line of figures and you really have to just leave it at that they don't make any sense within the context they really don't make sense in terms of really the whole situation about them you know what i mean they're zombies but deceased isn't really zombies yada yada supergirl has some great paint all the way around she's got some nice blood splatter effects i really like it all over her hands it looks great the costume she's got some scratches here and there very dirtied red no peg holes on the bottom, but I do like the fact that they dirtied her cape up a little bit. And when we looked at Wave 3, I actually mentioned that. So now to kind of come back to it and say, well, at least they did it in Wave 2. I like her hair. I think that that's great. She has one of the best head portraits. She's gruesome looking. She's just a zombie. And she looks mad and there's nothing uh, worse than a Kryptonian on a tirade. Whether or not uh, we find out what happens with Supergirl in the finale, right? Well, we'll say kind of, sort of finale in uh, Deceased, but that remains to be seen later this year. Now, moving on, we have Barry Allen the Flash. Flash has got an excellent head portrait to him. He looks amazing. I really like the way that this figure came out. And just to kind of talk to you about what happens in Deceased, he essentially becomes a zombie and Superman has to stop him and you see he's got blood all over him he's eviscerating people he's turning people into the whole deceased anti-life zombies right that's just kind of what it is it's again not like brains zombies go real easy with the little side things on his uh, head and then yeah, i'd really like the hair sticking out it's just a really nice head portrait nice reuse of the whole essentials line but again just keep in mind they're not they're not accurate. It's just, it's supposed to be just a fun zombie line. And that's where I can just totally get into it, right? But uh, in terms of what happens to the Flash in the comics, he's uh, speeding along. Superman's like, I got to stop him. I got to stop him. And it's, he just obliterates. Flash. He flies right into him, obliterates him. And uh, when we get to Superman, I'll say uh, one little add-on would have been kind of fun in terms of uh, what happens in the comics as a result. Harley Quinn... Again, one of those characters doesn't become a zombie, as far as I'm aware. I've read the spinoffs and such. Should still be alive as of the finale of DCs. But with what they've done, with the liberties they've taken, she does have a great head portrait. However, I think the paint gets a little bit too muddled. Like, I like the gash across her face. I think you can see kind of like her scalp, her brains and stuff through the costume. But um, it's a very muddled paint job. I like within the white, right, the court jester kind of thing. Those little sprinkles of blood, whatnot. She is largely a red figure. So blood amidst the black. I like her little fun comedy clown bracelets, right? They're kind of splashed in blood. That's really nice to see. One hand's got blood. Obviously, the red one doesn't have blood. They could have splashed her a lot more. There's little to no anything going on in terms of the backside of all the figures. Now, the exception being Supergirl. She does have some dirtiness on the cape, which I appreciate. I'm not a big fan of Harley's feet. She has more of a, a stiletto kind of high heel kind of boot kind of thing. She does have peg holes, so that's a bonus, right? You can put a stand right there. But, uh, yeah, she's a little bit disproportionate for me. I think she's the bottom of the list out of the four. She's got some nice articulation points. But, again, she's just she's just okay, to be honest. And then uh, leaves us with Superman. Now, 
Superman in totality, right, in looking at the figure, he's got a great head portrait. He's screaming. He's got the claw marks, right? That's kind of what happens with DCs when you get infected. You start clawing at yourself, and, yeah, it's kind of gross. So you have these big fingernail scratches down the sides of his cheeks. He's just not having a good day at all. He's got some blood right there on the S. The blue, the reds, they're nice. Could have used a little bit more paint on this guy, especially in terms of blood and whatnot. Doesn't have a whole lot past the upper chest. The boots, a little bit dirty, wash, but the unfortunate thing about Superman is that he's really loose in the joints. I do like they have a, a wash at the bottom, like he's been kind of dragging his cape, although it doesn't hit the ground, you know what I mean? So again, it's just nice. It kind of gives it a little bit more detail, and uh, it, it's fine for what it is. Superman, to me, to be honest with you, even though they kind of all share the same body types, Flash, oddly enough, looks bigger than Superman for whatever reason, it being an optical illusion or whatnot. But I'm just saying, like, it just it looks weird. He should have been a lot more uh, a bigger Superman. I think that's where he works. More paint here and there. I like the way the hands are sculpted. You can put the hands up to his face like he's totally just ripping flesh out, which is totally cool. Now, when I talked about the Flash... A little sculpting point, something cool, would have been had a little tiny finger sticking out of uh, Superman's abdomen right there from the Flash. That's initially what infects him. That would have been cool. But to give this guy a flight stand, I'm sure you got one if you collect McFarlane toys just kind of hanging around for this kind of zombified Superman floating there, creepy. You know what I mean? We'll find out kind of in the finale of Deceased, hopefully, what uh, the true fate of Superman is. But yeah, overall, with... The qualms aside, I do like the way that this figure came out as a standalone creepy toy. And again, with the scalature and whatnot between the lines, they all share body types. So it is what it is. These are just supposed to be fun zombies. That's really all I got for you at this point. You got to take yourself out of it. Because when you have all 12, uh, well, so far released DCs, whether or not they go back. I mean, I wouldn't mind it, tell you honestly. Have a little bit more comic accurate uh, storyline kind of going on with the figure releases that wouldn't be so bad but they are a lot of fun Halloween's coming up it's a great decor uh, if you have a Halloween shelf just FYI and all of them together that's creepy that's rad I really wish they would have continued more with the diamond select Marvel zombies those are amazing zombie superhero figures I gotta tell you but it's a lot of fun when you can kind of put together a zombified Justice League right we need Wonder Woman Wonder Woman is a must-have she's a core character in DC and then you have the Bat family the core cast of the Bat family none of these characters survived just FYI Red Hood being the most recent to bite the dust and you can have a very zombified couple within the Joker and Harley Quinn. Although Joker bit the dust long ago and Harley Quinn is technically still alive. So that's uh, something to think about. You have the red, the green going, the brave and the bold. Again, doesn't really make sense. Hal got eviscerated, Flash got exploded. So yeah, I mean, it, they're, again, they're just fun. But if you look at the context of the comic, none of this makes any sense. But you can have Girls' Night Out. Kara and Barbara Gordon. I mean, it's just fun. That's that's all I got. These are all just meant to be fun. If you wanted to include them with your McFarlane lineup, yes, no, they will work. I think Superman's a little bit too short. McFarlane's being in the seven inch. These are more like yeah, borderline is over six inch. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. So it really will depend on what figures work with what. Like if you had a McFarlane Superman with the deceased Flash, yeah, that totally does work as far as scale. But again, in looking at these in totality, with all the qualms and everything spoken about, uh, if you're a big fan of horror and zombies, then yeah, these are a no-brainer. They're a lot of fun. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at the, well, kind of sort of brand new, should have been released about two years ago, Deceased Wave 2. You've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Deceased. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, now if they continue with Deceased, yeah, I'm fully on board. But they got to change a few things. Weapons, accessories, they're a little bit pricey as far as what you're being given now. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.